Hi, Mr. Bob here, and two years ago, I saw this really neat thing on Kickstarter, and what it was is something I've always wanted. Somebody's actually going to start working on a robotic exoskeleton. Now, me being the rather <clears throat> person that I am, I, I'm thinking I need something to encourage me to get out there and to, to help me, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a couch potato to get my legs moving. If I can get a robot to help me exercise, that'd be awesome. So I ponied up, I think at the time it was like $500 in 2021, 22 money, which today in 2025 is more like a thousand because you know, Biden and inflation. So anyway, I was waiting for this. They were working on it. They had went through several iterations. Uh, battery was bad. This is bad. They finally sorted all, the, all their details. And we've got this box right here. And it was kind of funny. I took a picture of this box and put it on Facebook and said, hey, what do you guess this thing is? And nobody really knows because this is a product that you don't really see very often. Boxing, let's see what's in it. Oh, and kind of a tragedy along that happened along the way. During like the year two or about a year ago, I found out that the designers and manufacturers are really only building this for thin, healthy people which is why I think they're going to go out of business and why this is going to be a rather unique item. I don't think they're going to make round or two or three because 10 healthy people don't need this. So, um, and I sent them the measurements. They wanted everybody to measure, okay, how big is your butt? So I told them, and I think I used metric or imperial units. Um, and they sent me back a note that says, you are much too fat American. Uh, this note will work for you. <sighs> to which I was $500 worth of depressed and upset. But then I decided, you know what? Maybe I can build my own version for fat people. Um, because what I want to actually need this. I also spent the last, you know, four, five, six, seven years as a primary caregiver to my father with Parkinson's disease. And I think there's a huge market for people who actually are losing uh, function of the legs to have something like this to help them out with with walking and with balance and I think the manufacturers of this particular product are missing out on their true market so if you're listening out there you guys need to come up with what this is really for it's not for healthy people it's for people who need help with mobility please realize that get your marketing straight so anyway I've decided to tell them go ahead and ship me this anyway yes I know I'm fat maybe someday I'll be thin but in the meantime I've got a little tiny daughter who's nine and would love to play with robotics. Yeah. Tell me. What happened? Yeah. It stopped recording for a second. Like it glitched out. Oh, that's fine. I'll just edit that out. Okay. <clears throat> so, here it is. I had them chip it to me anyway. And we're going to do a little unboxing. So my daughter's actually behind the camera. Here. All right. <clears throat> and here's the other side of the box. Okay, nice box, but realistically, what your market you should be looking for is to sell this to people who need it, who have the insurance money to pay for it, and don't care what the box looks like. So, let us have a look at what's in this box. Is it? Nope, it's not taped. So, then I kind of like, because, you know, probably not going to be selling this as a consumer item at Best Buy, so you don't need to tape up the box. Pause the video for a second and get another angle. Yeah. So, oh, I'm undead. And I'm going to pop this open. And we're going to get into the camera. 3D. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> you can tell I don't do unboxings very often. <laughs> Alright. So, oh, wow. Hey, look at this. It comes with its own suitcase. So you can lose it at the airport. I mean, so you can take it on and travel. <laughs> So no, you're funny, bud. So you take this force. Sometimes the boxes kind of suck. All right. So here is packaging unit number three. Not counting the cardboard box that came with, you know, to ship and get banged up. All right. So this feels like it's made out of high quality styrofoam. Um, yeah, this is back in form styrofoam. It looks a little fabric-y, but uh, what do you think, by the way? 
It feels rough. <laughs> yeah, it's plasticky. It feels like that stuff that like comes in, like if they like give you like rings, it comes in like a giant bowl. Yeah. It feels like that, like the styrofoam. So here we go. Uh, these are some kind of hey, Dad. Clips. Yeah. Imagine the cat's just gone pop and you're like, ah. <laughs> Keep filming. So, Angel here is curious what's yeah. in the box. Does it smell like tuna? Because it came from Hong Kong. <laughs> Might smell like sushi. All right, so if we open up the lid, oh. Look at that. Smell that. You know, it actually kind of does smell like fish. <laughs> um. So we've got desiccant in here. Ooh, look at this big fancy packet of desiccant. But with this in here, you think it shouldn't smell like fish. Um, we've got the battery. Oh, wow. That. This substantial. Obviously, it's not built for drones and flying. You're going to be walking around with this. And then it's got the fancy label that you're going to have to cut off. And it's all folded up in this neat package. I don't know how durable this case is going to be if it's just for shipping or whether I'd want to store this item in the box or not. I want this knocking around in the back of my car if I'm going out to a park or something to get some steps in on my pedometer. Um, well, let's see. Well, that's actually not too bad. It weighs about that much. And under here is a user's manual. So this will be interesting to read. <laughs> oh, warranty. Warranty car. Oh, hey, this just says. E warranty car. Oh, I see it folds out. I'm an American idiot. There's the warranty. So fill that out. Let them know that you have one so that if you break it, they will send you a new one. Here's the user's manual. And it kind of looks like a pair of sunglasses, except it's for your butt. Um, yep, yeah, for your oh, oh, this is, there's an app to it. Look at all that reading practice for my third grader. No! <laughs> and what's in here? Oh, this is the charging cable. So you can charge your phone from your butt while you're, you're out on a hike. So I think it works the other way around. You have to charge your butt with your phone. Because that is a substantial battery. I'll put this aside. See if the cat's interested in it. Oh, also, I should also mention that not in the case, but okay, in the shipping box is this wonderful charging kit, which is kind of weird. It's got a unique plug on it. Well, that's not a suppository. Anyway, looks like it's got adaption. Uh, plugs for European and Asian uh, markets. I think that's 65 watt uh, power duck. All right, so let's see. Can we unfold this without breaking it? Oh, it weighs about as much as a, a 2005 laptop. Um, so this is kind of unfold like glasses here. Ooh, there's one leg and there's part of the belt. Oh, wow, there's lots of hinges on this thing. And yeah, there it is. What instructions? Start with the kids and whole thing. It looks like there's a power button here. I can't quite tell where the battery is. Oh, I see. The battery is on the back of this thing. Now, it came in several versions. They offered to send me one that the, the structure was actually built out of carbon fiber. And I figured, well, I'm a big fat guy. I, I actually want the heavy one for more weight, so I burn more calories. Um, so I just ordered the El Cheapo vacuum for plastic, but it's quite substantial. There's right here in this spot is where the motor is. Oh, look, there's a little tab back here. Can you see it? Yeah, it says open. Should we follow directions? Yes. Okay. They're, they're, uh, they don't make it easy. Packaging and engineers and I are mortal enemies. We don't get along. There it goes. And it's stuck in. Oh, there's another battery. It came with a second battery already installed. So this was the paper piece that keeps the first battery from engaging while it's being shipped. So it looks like 
Okay, see if we can get a good shot of it. It's kind of all black, so it's not going to film well, but looks like these two teeth go into these holes, and then the interface is actually up here with the Wait, let me see contents. the holes? Yeah, we can see that. Okay. I don't think that's a tab. That might be like a... What is that? Is that a SIM card? Oh, it's... Oh, I see. It's the release. So if you push this little button, that little tooth goes in. So that little piece of metal is all that's keeping your battery on your butt. And it should just click in because, you know, it's Hong Kong manufactured consumer electronics. Now, this is interesting. I don't know what these are. It's not actuated. There is a, definitely some kind of joint going on here. I don't, right there looks like the charging port. USB-C or some kind of custom something. And then the rest of this is belting. And then it's got the leg belts here. So while this is obviously way too narrow for my big fat American butt, I think we can get my kit in here. So we'll, we'll bring, get back to you as we try the fitting video next. Stand by. <laughs> 